Hello YouTube, this is KD and welcome to the video. Today, I figured instead of doing a speed painting like I did last time, I would treat you guys to a speed animation. I am an animation major in college, just in case you missed that. It's kind of a, a key component to my channel sometimes because I do like to do college vlogs, but my schooling is a little bit different because I am in art school. Um, so today we're doing a speed animation. This is just an animation test, which is kind of like a sketch, but an animation. It's you know, super short, usually no more than a few seconds, and just to get an idea out there and show that you're capable of doing something. So this animation test was a full body um, emotion kind of test. And so what you're doing there is you're trying to show an emotion using the full body instead of just the face. And um, we had to use a, I forget the term, uh, I thought of the term for several uh, minutes before I started filming and I cannot remember the term. So I'm going to call it a swipe, but it's basically where in between frames you do a kind of like whooshing effect. You'll see me drawing it when I get there and I'll, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. You draw a sort of whooshing effect to make everything move more quickly and to just show like rapid movement and to not have to do every single step in between as well. So I had to do that kind of whoosh that I can't remember what it's called right now. <laughs> and I had to do just a full body emotion. So that's what you're seeing here. Um, I did this over the course of two days, didn't work all day or anything like that. So this is actually very quick to create, which I love because I am a senior. I'm in senior reel. I have to do my senior thesis film. And um, it's been stressing me out because I don't really know what I'm doing or how to start or like what's going on. And my professor is very much in a like, make your own schedule and work how you work kind of way. But I've never had to make anything this long. So I kind of don't really know how to go about doing it. So yeah, it's just been stressing me out, just the idea of it. So knowing that I could get this done pretty quickly was very comforting to me. It was also like, I told myself I was going to make this simple, but then I ended up doing this complicated, like you're seeing there. I did a whole body twist and be diving down. I did the book falling, the hair. I don't know why I ended up doing all this extra uh, but it usually happens that way. I usually say to myself, I'm going to do this, I'm going to keep it so simple, and then it's not simple. But I just drew the first two frames, and I liked it so much. I liked our body proportions. I just liked how it was going, that I was like, I can't scrap this, surely. I have to keep going with this. So yeah, it ended up a little bit more complicated than I had intended, but I think it's, it's, it was fine, you know, it didn't take all that long and it was fine in the end, really. Um, I did this again in Procreate, which as we discussed last time, I did a speed painting. Procreate has the uh, issue, if you will, of it not being, um, not zooming in on anything that I'm doing or not really moving the canvas, the camera, everything the way that I was. You also can't see like when I'm changing tools or anything like that. You just get this one viewpoint, really. So. I think that this is fine. I, I think it's fine, but if you guys have an issue with the way Procreate films, please let me know. I will maybe try and do a screen recording next time I want to do a speed painting or speed animation for you guys. I'll try a screen recording and see how that works in comparison. Uh, but yeah, this is Procreate's auto recording that you're seeing right here. And um, it yeah, <laughs> it's not the quickest, most timely thing in the world. And uh, not not timely. It's pretty timely. It's not the most efficient way of showing this in the world and for that. I'm sorry, but you can see all the action at once, so it's not all bad. Um, so today I just wanted to talk to you guys about this artwork and everything that's going on with my art life at the moment just because um, it has been a little bit difficult to do what I planned to do for the um, end of August for my, you know, uploading every single day. It's been a little bit more difficult now that school is thrown into the mix and I have a lot more to do now. And I knew that was gonna happen. I kinda wanted to get all my videos done before school. But, you know, potato, potato, tomato, tomato. That, I mean, that doesn't correlate at all to what I'm saying, but basically life hit the fan and I didn't get to get everything done. I'm six videos behind, so I have six videos to do while I'm in school. And this is one of those six. So I just wanted to do something that would allow me to do my schoolwork, which this animation was schoolwork, by the way. It's for my Digital Animation Production 2 class. So uh, basically we take Foundation Animation, which is the intro class, DAP, Digital Animation Production, DAP 1, which I took last semester, and then DAP 2, 
is basically DAP1 again, but with some adaptations. So you can just continue practicing these fundamentals. Um, and then you take, you're supposed to then take Digital Studio, but I took Digital Studio before I even took DAP1. So yeah, where in there you have some more advanced tests, and then you finish it all off with your senior real class. So that's like the animation pipeline. There's other stuff we take, you know, environments, character design, concept art. We take other stuff, but that's the main animation crux of my course. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I kind of went in a weird order when I'm doing my senior reel, which is the most advanced, and DAP2, which is still kind of beginner at the same time. But it's okay. You know, as long as we get that degree, that's all that matters in the end. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, I am taking this class entirely online. Miss Roni Nona has made things kind of change. So I'm not, uh, right here, I'm writing Make the Hair Land because I, I left um, my, I left Procreate for a while and like did some other things and I didn't want to forget where I was or what I was doing. But, you know, absolutely no time passes in the recording, so it's kind of a silly note to write myself. But yeah, um, anyway, <laughs> as I was saying, Taking this class online has been interesting and different because I'm used to doing all of this in class, basically, and I could finish all the animations I had for this class, usually in the time that class runs, which is six hours a week. Usually I could get that banged out. So doing it outside of class was a little interesting because I was able to get this done more quickly, I feel. I feel like it couldn't have taken me more than three hours. Maybe I'm kind of stretching it, but I feel like it didn't take me all that long. So being outside of class, is less productive in some ways and then I don't feel like working when I'm supposed to be working and it's hard to stay focused especially for the long hours that you have to do in art it's just it's hard but it's helping in other ways in that I don't feel like <clears throat> limited to <coughs> I'm sorry <coughs> <coughs> it's helping in some ways because I don't feel limited to a class schedule and I don't feel like you know, it's so hard to work outside of class because I'm still trying to use the technology that I use in class. Like, right now, <coughs> excuse me, right now I'm doing this animation in Procreate uh, because I didn't have access to it, like, um, Toon Boom, outside of Procreate. Hello, and welcome to uh, part two of the exact same recording that you were just watching. I had some technical difficulties, but we're back, and it's okay, luckily. So as I was saying, I don't have access to Toon Boom um, outside of class, so I did this in Procreate. And we normally use Toon Boom in my animation class with our standard software, but I did this in Procreate because I didn't have Toon Boom. And I might ha like, okay, I can get access to Toon Boom because the school is providing it. Thank goodness they're taking the fact that Miss Roni Nona has made classes online into consideration. The issue is my computer. I don't know if my current computer is like sturdy enough, we'll say, to run Toon Boom. Um, so I'm working on getting a new one, but I don't know if I'm gonna get the new one, and if I am gonna get it, I don't know when I'm gonna get it. So things are kind of up in the air. I don't have Toon Boom installed yet on this computer, because I, I don't know if it can run, and I don't really think that I can. So, um, I just did this first animation in Procreate, and I will jump into Toon Boom for future animations in this class. I just wanted to make sure that I had this one done, so I could kind of figure out what was going on in my senior girl class, and really see how I want to go about doing that schedule, but... I guess I need to bite the bullet and find a way to install Procreate, if that's my, not Procreate, install Toon Boom, if that's my plan. See, so look at me getting programs all confused, all mixed up in a pot. But anyways, um, I'm showing you guys the end of the animation here, and as you can see, this is, I uploaded this to my Instagram, so if you want to see more of my art on a quicker basis than I put it on YouTube, and just a lot more of it, Please follow me on Instagram. The at is in the description, but it's at KG Creative. If you were curious, hit, hit, hit that um, follow button on the gram and please hit that subscribe button on the tube. I'm working on getting myself up to 100 subscribers. My way of doing that is uploading every single day in August for the first 30 days. I didn't really explain that because I've been doing it for so long now that I think it's obvious, but this might be the first video of mine that you're seeing. So every day for the first 30 days of August, I've been uploading a video. That means you have lots of content on this channel. I have over 100 videos total for you to watch and enjoy. And I also have my Instagram full of great fun art. So please check out more of my content if I interest you and maybe give me a subscribe, a quick comment and tell me your thoughts on this video. And perhaps leave this video a like to help my engagement and to help YouTube know that they should show this video to more people. Thank you for that. But anyways, 
Uh, you guys saw the final animation, or maybe you're still seeing it. I'm not really sure how I'm going to edit this, but you've seen the final process. And it's just this girl on a um, subway seat was my idea, but I didn't really draw a seat. So she's just on a line in thin air. And the idea is that a fly or a bug of some kind comes into screen and she's reading a magazine. So she's reading the magazine, then she looks up because she hears the bug, and then she like jumps out of the way of it. Uh, she's me. I don't do bugs. I don't know. I, I can't. Uh, physically, my body just repels from insects of any kind, so can't do it. I would be very much like this girl dropping my magazine and probably risking breaking my spine to get away from a bug. A flying bug at that? Yeah. No, I would probably just run away altogether. <laughs> uh, but that's the animation that I did. I'm showing you guys me making the thumbnail. Just because, you know, that's a part of the artistic process as well. It's the artistic process for YouTube, but it's still something artsy that I did. It was pretty quick and cute. Um, did it in Procreate as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed that thumbnail. I'm assuming you did because you clicked on this video. But uh, yeah. Anyways, this is the end of the video now. This is the part where I ask you guys to click on my link. I link you to my channel. Subscribe. We've discussed why you should subscribe. So if you're not subscribing, I don't know what's up with you. You might want to get that checked out, maybe be a doctor, I'm not really sure, but you should be hitting that subscribe button or this cute picture of my face. Um, I also show you my most recent upload, which more likely than not is not this video, because like I said, I'm uploading every single day for the month of August, so unless you're seeing this on the day that I upload, there's another video uploaded already. And I show you a video that is the best for you. I might custom pick it myself, YouTube might pick it. For me, but it is a video that I think is well attuned to you based on all of the other things that you watch. So I am taking the time to custom select content for you. So now that my links are popping up here, why don't you take some time out of your day and click on one of them? I mean, you've got nothing better to do as Caroni Nona, no, no one's doing anything. Just click a link and have some more fun on my channel. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more of my animation speeds, please let me know. I will see all of you next time. Until then, 